Hey there, how you doing? Today, I'm playing a little bit of Minecraft. You know why? Best game ever. There's nothing wrong with it. Perfect game. Great quality. So let's just head on to single player, you know, create a good new world. Sorry if my keyboard's loud, it's one of those kinds of computers. So that's a good name, and then the seed should be a seed because I can't think of anything right now. So I know how uh, all of you been doing today, but uh, eh, I've had better days. Today I got to crash my bike onto the ground because the gear stopped working. Or not the gear, the chain stopped moving. And then I started riding it some more. And then the chain just went all whack. And it finna broke the bike. And that's really not cool. Well anyway, we're here, we're chopping wood, getting those achievements because Minecraft is the game of the century, and I figured might as well take advantage of it and do a Let's Play. Because, you know, I want to get that monetization. So, all I have to do is sit back, relax, defeat the Ender Dragon 32 times like the god himself, Lil Pump, and then, you know, move on. I don't know, maybe start Robloxing. I don't know, I've never played it before, but I get the gist. It seems pretty easy. So, uh, right now, it is the 21st night of September, much like that song by Earth, Wind, and Fire, and the way that I am spending this autumnal equinox is by chilling in my room, playing Minecraft. Earlier, I played with some mods because, you know, I'm a real gamer and I have to play Epic Style, and, uh, now I'm just here, chilling on vanilla, doing a Let's Play for YouTube, all of you, and, uh, you know... I've been thinking about the content my YouTube channel needs, and I figured, well, why do anything super difficult when I can just do the easiest content out there? Make like my boy Stampy Longnose and just do Minecraft Let's Plays, because he seems to know what he's doing. He gets all those YouTube kids shows and stuff. I want some of those, because I am the guy that people need influencing their kids. Because, you know, I'm a great role model. And look at that. We just got a pumpkin. Oh, no way. No way. Look at this. Look what we got here. It's a boat. There's a boat here. And another pumpkin. Oh, my God. We're going to have so much pie. Pumpkin pie for the season. Because it's the 21st night of September, my guys. You know what that means? That means Yom Kippur was two days ago. And, yeah, I celebrated. Even though I never have before. Not too sure why I did. Oh yeah, look at this trick. Oh bam. Do those quick Minecraft tricks. That way you can get all the respect in the hood. Now you just gotta make your crafting table and then make the sticks. It's real easy like that. And sorry for my uh, weeb clicking, but the damn mouse can't help it. It was born that way. It's on the right track, baby, though. Well, anyway, that looks good enough. Let's start digging this little ship out. Get all our Minecraft loot and of course the sand has to be broken just finna whack speaking of whack ain't his hair whack his gear it's also whack and the way he talks that's also whack well anyway let's just dig out this little ship here because we can get some diamonds I love diamonds and maybe we can make a diamond hoe because I have a diamond hoe. I love it. And yeah, we get some sand out of it. Maybe we'll build a nice glass structure. Who knows? I don't. Well, this looks good enough. I guess I'll try to break this wood here with my sugar cane. And it turns out that that did nothing. I have to go even further. Let's check this out. Okay, do we have any Ben Shapiro's hiding in here? Hey, hello. Let's check it out, boys. Heck yeah. We got sandstone everywhere. Gosh darn. We have a ton of it. And I'm pretty sure there should be a chest right in here or something. I don't know. I'm not too familiar with this whole new update stuff. I'm, I'm one of them old Minecrafters. You know, I'm an OG, original gangsta. And I'm all into that, uh, good old one point like no not one point 
zero point whatever stuff. <sighs> well, anyway, uh, let's just keep going in this uh, monologue I got here. Uh, in English, I got to read Kurt Vonnegut Jr.'s Harrison uh, Bergeron, not to con be confused with uh, Tom Bergeron or whatever his name is who did uh, America's Funniest Home Videos. He's a completely different dude, and also not Patrice Bergeron. He's just a hockey player from Canada. But then again, who isn't a hockey player from Canada? Like, it's all they got there. I'm pretty sure there's a joke about that. There's probably a few. You know, comedians, they just make jokes all the time. It's really rude, because they should be considering the lives that these people have to fight through. You know, what if they never wanted to play hockey? And oh my god, are we really getting ripped off like this? In front of all my loyal fans, I'm getting no great loot from this ship. I cannot believe it. This is whack. I'm so disappointed. I can't even put it onto a scale of magnitude or whatever the heck it be. Well, anyway, let's destroy our crafting table. We gotta keep going. So, uh, my knee hurts. I got a band-aid on it, because, you know, that's what you do when you skin your knee, because you don't want it to just, you know, absorb disease or whatever the heck they do these days. I don't know. I just usually keep to myself. I don't talk to my knees that often. But, uh, yeah, they have band-aids on them, and what I've noticed is that I have to keep my knee bent, or the band-aid does undone itself, because it's just finna thermodynamics or something. I don't know. I, I didn't learn that much in chemistry, seeming that I've only been in it for two weeks or something. Yeah, it, it'd be like that. But anyway, I'm just going to be, you know, struggling to make this video ten minutes. Even though I have no creative thought to make a video ten minutes long, unless if I'm trying blindfolded. And, uh, you know, right now, we're doing pretty good. Um, something that I've heard a lot of recently is that Crocs is going out of business, which is just extremely false. They aren't going out of business. They're doing perfectly well. Their stock is great. They had an accounting error, and that's why some people think they're going out of business, and also because they're closing down one of their factories, and that doesn't even matter, because that factory is one of their ones in Arizona, but most of their factories are in Mexico. Personally, I'm an owner of a nice pair of teal Crocs. They are the best. I wear them every day to school. I can't get enough of it. Best shoe ever made. It can be done for anything. Running, sprinting, hiding, rock climbing, just for style points, you know? Anything. They work even better with croc, with a croc and sock combination, because it just makes you look way cool. And you know, who doesn't want to look way cool when they're out in public? I know I sure do. I wear them everywhere. I wear them to school. I wear them to the bank. I don't wear them to work. Don't want to get fired like that. But I do wear them as much as I can. Because they are the future. They are going to take over all these big shoe companies. You see these people wearing Yeezys. Soon, Yeezys will be made by Crocs. They will be made out of rubber and have holes in them. Because that's how every shoe should be. Because, as we all know, who needs this cloth when we can have good old biodegradable rubber? It works. Now look, we just killed a cock. How about that? Now let's kill another one. Don't want him to fly away on us. That would be a poor decision on our part because, you know, we, we really want that stuff. Yo, what was that? Was that a lag? I have no idea. I don't speak Spanish. Well, anyway, let's take some of this raw beef. And by the way, I'm liking the look of this place. This is kind of looking like a home. And that's what it will be. Because that's what I'm making it right now. This is our home. We live in a cave. Because we don't need the luxuries of modern society when we can just live here. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's just, you know, throw down our crafting bench right there. Make a couple doors, because I know how to do that. There. Bam. We get three of it. I don't know why it turns into three. That seems like a flaw in my opinion because where do I do where do I do this door because you know I'm not I, I already said I'm not any kind of scientist or anything oh I'll look water infinite water source 
that's how you know we're up to business because we have an infinite water source and that's where our door will go because we don't want to be talking to none of that water it's bad for your health and it's bad for the bones and I ain't about to die from some crappy series called bones well anyway it's looking like this video is at about the uh, 10 minute marker point so I'm going to go now